Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use liver of sulfur to patina your uh, copper pieces. So here I have a ring that is just bare copper and here's what it looks like after it's been patinaed and here's a couple of bracelets. So it gives it that nice warm antiqued finish that um, really really makes it look rich and finished. This to me just looks too bright. Okay, so we're going to be using <clears throat> a liver of sulfur gel. Um, you can buy liver of sulfur in lump form. It's like a little rock that disintegrates in the water, um, but it's unstable. So any little bit of light, any bit, little bit of moisture that gets to it will wreck it, and you won't even know it's um, unusable until you drop it in water, and it's just a rock. It won't, it won't disintegrate. So this is um, a gel. It is um, stabilized and it lasts a very, very long time and a little goes a long way. <clears throat> so you're going to need um, a container, containers maybe, dedicated just for liver of sulfur. This is my decrepit little bowl that I use when I have multiple things to do. So I, 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 what I usually end up doing is I save all of my pieces that need to be done and I do them all at one time. Uh, it just saves on, on um, time, effort, and product. And you only need like a, a drop or two, and then <clears throat> hot tap water. So we're going to use hot tap water. And um, you just have various size containers for different uh, uh, projects. But we're, let's say we're only going to do this ring. So I like to save my little, these were little rice cups or yogurt cups or whatever. And um, so when I only have a few of these, even if I just had rings and I want to use this small container, I'll show you how I... Uh, uh, use the best, get the best out of my product without uh, wasting it because uh, one drop would be too much for this little container. So what I like to do, now this is my my bottle of used stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat's dry, I use a Q-tip, so we're just going to open this up, and it stinks like eggs, right, it's sulfur, so it's 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 got a an eggy smell to it. So then I'll just dip my Q-tip in it, and we're going to pour water, hot water, hot tap water, and see that color? That's the color that you want. Now copper will copper will take a patina uh, fairly real quickly. Um, sterling silver takes a little bit it takes a little longer. Okay, so I'm going to pour some rinse water, but normally I do this at my bathroom sink and I just use running tap water. So my solution has cooled off quite a bit so it will take longer to process but when your solution is really really hot it processes quite quick so that could be anywhere from 5 to 15-20 minutes so since this is cooled off we're going to check this in about 15 minutes. Okay I just use an old pair of tweezers to pull it out and you can tell it's darkened up quite a bit but I like it a little darker and uh, I don't like it really, really black, but I like it a nice, deep, rich brown. So it's been about 20 minutes. Look how pretty that is. I like that. So we'll give it a little rinse. And now we're going to polish off the tarnish. And yes, I said tarnish because we are artificially tarnishing our metal. We're going to use super fine steel wool and that's the steel wool with four zeros. We don't need a whole lot, so we'll just pull off a small piece, roll it into a ball, you make like a little puffy pillow out of it. Now I like to just bump. I just take my, my steel wool and I just bump, bump, bump. I don't scrub real hard because I like to have some control over how much of the patina I want to remove. It's totally up to you. But look how pretty that is. Look how it uh, takes it off the raised areas and leaves it in the recessed areas. Now make sure you don't forget to do the sides and the inside of the ring. And check out all the bits and pieces on the paper towel. You definitely want to do this over a paper towel. Those bits and pieces will get stuck in your ring. And what we're going to do afterwards is you're going to rinse it under a running faucet with a toothbrush and give it a good scrub and get all those little bits and pieces out. And um, and then you're done. You can even run it in a tumbler if you wanted to with stainless steel shot to give it an even glossier shine. But I do like the um, I do like the uh, 
the soft satiny finish that the steel wool gives to it. Look how pretty that is. I hope you like my video. I hope you find it useful. And uh, please uh, subscribe. Thank you.